from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 510 for Thursday, October 5th, 2023. We're Justin. This week we have banter, news, updates, a new dialogue from Lamy, a new beauty from Twisby. It's really, really nice. A gorgeous lavender from Visconti, a new beauty from Lamy, a contest winner, a new contest, plus something coming soon that we can't talk about, but it's cool. Do you know? Um, I do. In America, the elevator. Yeah. We call it an elevator here in, in the U.S. In Britain, they call it a lift. Did you yes, know that? I did. Yeah, I guess we were just raised differently. <laughs> cute. That's cute. <laughs> and so, all you people out there who share these jokes with your children, I actually laughed at that one. So, wow. This week's location bumper is the Lullaby Shop, located just one mile to our east. The Lullaby Shop has been. Supply- this way. That's West. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> the Lullaby Shop has been supplying the finest furniture and accessories for children of all ages since 1956. Uh, and, and, then and, and then you- it's not the place I went to. Uh, oh, okay. All right. It's that way? Yeah. Well, that's, just- that's East. Okay. Well, so. then somebody wrote it's it It's just wrong. one mile to our West, apparently. I guess it, it is. depends it's on, down on the way to Cox. depends on which way you are. Right? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that didn't go anyway. so well. <laughs> it's well, going to be one of those it's somewhere podcasts. around here. Just down the it. street, it's cool. Uh, so you did go. Yeah, it's that way. Okay. Just before cops. Okay, great. It's been there forever. Awesome. All right. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to today, Thursday, October fifth, World Teachers Day. Uh, this day celebrates the work of teachers everywhere. It focuses on appreciating, assessing, and improving the educators of the world and the fact that they are not never paid enough and no. never appreciated enough. Never, and ever, ever. Thank you for all you teachers and educators out there. Those of you still in academia, thank you. And you were in it for a long time. Ten very long years. Ten very long years. <laughs> they never let me forget half of it. So, I taught high school for a year to pay for the gutters for our house. They're damn nice gutters, but... <laughs> All right. Tomorrow, Friday, <laughs> October 6th, World Smile Day. This Woo. day was made by the creator of the original smiley face symbol to encourage us to devote one day a year to smiles and act of kindness throughout the world. That's fun. The creator of the original smiley. Wasn't that uh, Forrest Gump? Didn't he? <laughs> he had the shirt and then he made the... Uh, maybe, apparently not. All right. Uh, we got some... We got some... Oh, cool. This is all you. Mo- I can take a nap. Moving right along. Um, so we got some new vintage uh, and some consignment stuff to talk about. Um, we, you know, I, I just want to jump in here and say it has been consignment pen crazy lately. It's been nuts. It's 300 and some pens in the last month. Yes. So, so uh, um, if you're wondering where the heck did all these pens come from, several different consignment lots and uh, a couple purchases of big lots of pens. So it's just when it rains, it pours. So I'm just going to do, uh, I'm just going to give a little bit of a highlight. These actually are up on the website right now. Uh, so they are available for purchase. Um, we, we got another batch of new old stock stickered Japanese pocket pens. So we, we've had these in the past. Um, just, they're just, they're just cuties, uh, little pilot, elites, you know, pink. and they've got the pink on it. And who doesn't like a pink pen? Um, this one is kind of cool. It's not a pocket pen, but it's a small. It's a custom 98 by Pilot in a mustard yellow. Uh, and it has a Ooh. number three gold it's nib. It's adorable. Number three gold nib. Really cute. Um, it's a good fall color. Uh, this this one is probably my favorite in the, in the bunch. Uh, a nice sailor pocket pen, two-tone cap. Looks very reminiscent of the E95S with this this double gold band here. But this is a 21 karat nib, and it has Ooh. that beautiful Zogan inlay on it uh, in a navy blue. That's a cool. This color. is a great. This is a great great pen. Um, also another sailor uh, black. This one doesn't have a sticker on it, but this has that engraved line in it. So uh, in the cap. That, can, that is cool. Really pretty cool. Um, what else and, you got? Uh, this one here. This one uh, is is so hard to find in any condition other than crappy. Uh, yeah. That's a platinum. 
and that is that uh, black uh, in, in line. And the, the, like this is like a, a real thin uh, layer over the top, and it often is scratched up and scuffed up, and, and this one is perfect. Uh, if you've ever wanted this particular pen, uh, they're so hard to find in clean condition, so we have that. All right. Very cool. And there, there are others. I'm just kind of glossing wait, over there's them. There's more. There's weight. There's more. Uh, going to the uh, to another continent. Um, we have uh, quite a selection of Pelican uh, M200s, 250s. Who doesn't like a, a nice <sighs> nice tortoise? That's it's beautiful. Pretty. Really beautiful. Um, this one here actually was. Uh, I, I was tempted to buy this one for myself. What? Uh, this was the first Pelican I ever owned. And what it was happened to an yours? M200 Anthracite. I sold it. To my buddy Pete, I'm pretty sure I sold it to Pete. Oh. Um, but uh, anthracite, which is uh, this gray uh, with gold trim, which is an interesting combination. Uh, and then Ooh. this one, this one's pretty exciting. That's cool. Uh, I'm probably more excited about this than, than Lisa oh, is. Oh, is that the? This is oh. this is this one here. Okay. So uh, many 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 years ago, if you're a Pelican collector, you know what this is. So this is a um, the book, the box for the Citroen purse if I pronounce that correctly, um, which is a publisher. And they made a limited edition M200 of 1,200 pens. Very hard to find the pen. I, for some reason, have the box, which is a book. It's a book. It's a book with drawings and illustrations in it. And we came across the pen. So now we have the full set. Um, and then there's a spot in the back for, um, there's a cutout in the back for the box. Which is cool. And to put the pen in. So uh, it's sort of like a secret little safe. Yes, it's like a book yes. safe. Uh, and, it's, and it's mint on ink. I mean, look at that ink window. The book is perfect, too. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's so, pretty good, yeah. Limited uh, edition of 1,200 pieces on this pen. Very hard to find. Um, I didn't realize that pretty yellow pen went with that. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, that's that. why I was excited about it. Yeah, because I've had this book for I, I, 10 years, probably. I mean, a long time. I don't remember getting that. I, I don't remember how we got it, but I remember getting it. So, okay. Uh, and there's, there's a bunch more um, transparent M200s. Uh, so uh, they're up on the website now. There will be some more coming. Um, so just keep, keep an eye out in that vintage pen section. Uh, next up, I want to talk about something we haven't had in years. Uh, and we're going to do this maybe a little differently this time around. Um, I have... Esterbrook nibs, uh, and we haven't had these forever because they're just they're impossible. impossible to, they're to impossible find. to find. We used to get two, three uh, bulk lots a year. People would close stationary stores. They would call us. We would get them. That went down to about once a year, and then it was once every other year, and then now it's like once every five, ten years. It's 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 ridiculous. Um, so um, some of these nibs we're going to keep for ourselves for use to in our put pens. in. Pens that we still restore. Um, but we do have a good selection of excellent, excellent nibs. 9128, extra fine flexible. Uh, 9048, fine flexible. 9788, medium flexible. Um, I've got 9314, reliefs in medium and broad. 9968, broads. Uh, 2314, fine, medium, and broad relief. Uh, and 2048, fine flexibles. Um, so these are going to go up on the website uh, shortly this week. Uh, we are going to limit these. Uh, we really want to limit these to one per nibs choice per customer so that everybody can, can take advantage of it. Um, and uh, they're, they're just so hard to come by, especially those 9128s, is, quite frankly, is the, the best flexible nib that Esterbrook ever made. So, um, But uh, watch for those uh, and, and, and one, one each per, per size. Yes. Please uh, let, let your fellow uh, fountain pen friends uh, share in the love. There you go. So. Uh, yeah, we just have to uh, open every single box and double check that what's in the box is what the box is marked. Which, which, which may sound silly to some people, but in, in our experience, it's not always the case because, yes. you know, you get these, uh, you know, stationary stores, they would do whatever. I mean, they do exactly what we do. They, you know, things get mixed around right. in boxes. We found all sorts of crazy stuff in boxes. Yes. So. Um, but <clears throat> we'll get them checked. We'll get them on the website, um, and then um, you can put them in your extra books. And they'll, they'll also go in that MV nib adapter uh, if you have for an the SD, modern for the modern SD. Very um, cool. Oversized and regular size. So. What has one head, one foot, and four legs? A bed. 
just in the Lamy Dialogue CC in all black. I know you love this that. This is cool. This is cool. Uh, just arrived. Um, it's got a unique twist mechanism to extend and retract the nib. Uh, the body is a matte black lacquer with um, black plated accents. So it is totally yeah, stealthy. The uh, there is a roll stop instead of a clip. And the new gold nib uh, has black plating and then just that little runway that Brian it's, it's loves. The, it's the, so the gold cool. Accents. And, and if you look at it closely, it's, it's just, it's got actually do, like do a you little. Need a private well, moment? Well, if you look at it closely, it's got like a little line around it, just yeah. a little subtle, subtle piece of uh, detail. Uh, and of course, the, the imprint is all in gold on the black. It's really striking. Yes. Um, <clears throat> do you need a Christmas present? Uh, well, you know, see, now this is the problem now because I've always liked the the, the blue with rose gold. Yeah, that is uh, pretty. And if they would have done just a black nib on this, I would have said no. But with this gold on on the nib, it's just really, it's 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 sexy. So the packaging includes a proprietary Lamy cartridge, a Z27 converter. And a leather pen sleeve. Yep, a little single sleeve, which yep, is kind of cool. which is cool. The Twisby Kai. Yes. Cobra Kai. <laughs> I know. When we saw that it was the Kai, I guess when I was in Chicago, Brian and Dave? Yeah, yeah, Dave, Dave and I. Were watching the TV show Cobra Kai? Yes. With Ralph Macchio? Yes, yeah. The yeah, original yeah. Karate Kid. Yeah, it's great. You should watch it. It's great. I can't do it. Season three is coming out. I'm not a sometime Ralph Macchio soon. fan. All right. Anyway. Uh, anyway. But so, yeah, I just call it the Cobra Kai. Sorry, <laughs> Philip. Um, it's cool. Where's yours? That's right here. It's right here. <laughs> uh, Pre-sales began Monday and shipping began yesterday, so they are on the way to you. Features are really. This is a drop it's a good, dead gorgeous. It's a good looking pen. pen. Really good looking um, pen. Gorgeous dark blue marbled acrylic resin. Rose gold plated trim, um, rose gold plated stainless steel uh, nib in a similar size to the Twisby 580. 580 yep. um, it is a piston filler, and the ink window lets you see the uh, the ink window, mm -hmm. or the, the ink, ink window, window lets you see lets the, you ink see window. the ink window. It does. Level. There's the ink window. Ink level. Ink level. Thank you. It's been a rough day. Um, now the pen cap will fit onto the barrel but twisby does not recommend it yeah it doesn't i wouldn't post it, it yeah. in fact it, it's not going to post i mean it, it fits it, there but sit, it doesn't but it doesn't it stay. sits but it doesn't stay yeah now this, but it's a it's a good post i mean you don't need to post this this is a limited edition it will have a short production run so this first batch came in and i'm not sure how many we have left um when we're filming this, more are coming in three to four weeks. So if you waited or you were too late, um, sign up for the back in stock notice, and then we'll have yeah. So the, the, probably one more run. This is this is coming as two more runs. Two. So in three to four weeks there'll be another run of pens, and then another three to four weeks after that there'll be the final run of pens, and that will be it. Uh, it is limited edition. It is not numbered. Uh, we don't know what the number is. Uh, but if, if you remember the Draco from several years back, this is like the Draco. It was here. It's gone. Um, and then there was actually a green one before the Draco, which I don't believe was in the U.S., the, Aur the Aurora. Yeah. Um, but really a good-looking really pen. Really pretty. Um, this reminds me of the old Aurora Optima yes. materials. Yes. Uh, the, the newer ones seem to have chunkier, blockier uh, marbling, and this this is really, really very nice. Um, the cap, I like how the cap, the, the Twisby logo is engraved in there. It's just really a really good looking pen. And unlike other Twisbys, even though we have an ink window, you cannot see the location of the piston Ooh. in the window. See, that so I like. I don't like clear pens. It's really a great looking pen. Thank you. Uh, I got it in a broad, which I know you don't like, so. <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, we had uh, this morning. We had two extra fines left. I think we, in fact, um, Twisby's allocation on this first shipment was was very low. In fact, we didn't get everything we ordered, uh, and uh, there'll be another run, and then uh, another one. So sign up for a notification if you don't want that extra fine, and we'll go from there. Yep, great. So. Also, just in you can read it, and right. I will play uh, Anna White. New, 
This is gorgeous. I'm sorry. <laughs> the new Visconti Rembrandt S in lavender. Uh, this collection pays tribute to, I'm going to ignore you, Rembrandt's painting Landscape with the Stone Bridge, or the Stone, also called the Stone Bridge from 1638. Uh, the artist's palette captures the waning golden light as reflected in the water beneath the bridge. Here, let's see. Offset by the delicate lavender strokes of the unlit water in the foreground. That works really good with that paper, doesn't it? I know. This is really gorgeous. I'm excited that there is a slightly lighter color in the Rembrandt S lineup. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dark. It's a pretty dark lineup. Um, this this lightens and it up so a little bit. And so this lightens and brightens it up. Um, yeah, it's got a beautiful variegated lavender body. Uh, it evokes the soothing calm of Rembrandt's water, while the bronze accents add a touch of sophistication and warmth of his sunset. Um, and uh, These are not bronze. Well, not bronze. Oh, the bron the, bronze in the in the, in in the, the material. Yes, in the material. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and this has the new large steel nib uh, available in fine, medium, and broad sizes. Uh, available as a fountain pen, roller ball, roller. and ballpoint. Fountain. Yeah. So it's got that nice big nib now. Yes, and then it's got that darker trim, uh, which is which is a nice accent. But I really, really love the color. Yeah. So. Cartridge converter pen. So international cartridge comes with the converter. Um, ballpoint takes Barker style refills. I have a Van Gogh. It's nice. It's a nice I don't looking have pen. A yeah. So. So all right. Great. And this is cool. How did this happen? <laughs> uh, I, I, I was offered. I took. Just in the Lamy Scala Glacier Blue. Ballpoint, so it's ballpoint only. Ballpoint only. So this is actually was a um, a special edition from I believe 2016, um, and they found some. Well, we found some. They offered them to us. I love um, this. Body of light blue matte lacquer over stainless steel barrel, shiny chrome nose clone trip uh, trip trim, trim and clip. Uh, twist to extend the refill. Uses the M16, but it's a nice color. Really this nice is color. Yeah, this. It's a great ballpoint. It really an, is, and it's got some nice weight to it. It's a little back heavy. Um, you got smaller hands, though. I do have smaller hands, so, so I, for I, me, for me, it's, it's it's really really lovely. If you have bigger I'm hands, thinking that might need to come home with me. Yeah, well, it's it's a lovely color. It's really um, really pretty. And, and and if you've got someone on your on your list, this makes for a great Christmas or something. Gift. You know, I mean, we got to talk about Christmas. It's yes. going to be here before you know it. If Eric um, were here, he'd say it's 80 some odd days. I think it's less than that. No. So, anyway, uh, Lamy Scala Glacier Blue Ballpoint Ball point. now in stock. Why did the belt get arrested? He held up a pair of pants. We had a contest last week. We did. Uh, Terry McCormick says, I clean my pens when I change the ink color. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Greg M says, I clean my pens when I've accumulated three or four empty pens, which after cleaning are rotated out of usage. Okay. I hope he rotates others into usage. Uh, the door, oh boy, the door mouse's desk. Yep. I ink four to seven pens every month, clean them, and then have a fresh batch of pens and inks on the first of the following month. That's dedication. Nice. You know, that's what you could use a whole bunch of for. You keep could track write, of, you could yeah. keep track of what pens you use. That would be kind of cool. If you had like a five year and then you put down what pens you started that you month. You really with. want a five year. I do. I don't have I, I have commitment phobia on that. If they had like a five year and a day free. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I need. A five year day free journal. Which it's just like a notebook. It's called also called a notebook. Okay. Uh, anyway. Dexter right. Yang says, Eric. Because um, Eric was here last week, I rotate my pens out every week, so I clean my pens every week. Not a chance. That's Not a serious chance. commitment, Dexter. Uh, Emily Snopes says I clean between ink changes, which usually means after each use. I'm an ink person. Okay, so good she's for got you. different lots of inks to use. That's good. Edward Stats says I clean my pens as needed, often when refilling my pen. Again, with Brian, clean maybe five or six refills. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's sound advice. Because of course I said it. Well, you know, after five or six refills of the same ink, yes. e e even that, you're, you, you yes. know, you, you need to flush out that feed uh, and in, in the nib. So Great. Uh, Kelly Laliberti says, hi, Eric. Lots of Eric love today. I clean all but one of my pens each time they run dry, 
and then put them away and pick up a new pen. The one in constant use gets cleaned out every two to three fills. They don't pile up and become a dreaded chore, and the five to ten minutes it takes are a nice break in the day. Yeah, it is a kind of a dreaded chore at this point. Oh, see, I find it to be very soothing. It's I gotta, like I productive task, relaxation. I got a task for you this afternoon, then. All those pens on my desk? No, no. Those are all inked. Put them away? They're all inked. Sell them? No, don't Hide sell them. them. They need to be cleaned. I'm going to be recovering. I, I might do two. I might, maybe I'll do like one pen a day. I'll bring one pen in a day and clean them and then okay. work through it. Great. Because it, it a is whole, a dreaded chore. It's, I have a whole ink um, pen case full of pens that need to be. Oh, okay. We should, we should do one a day and see how long it takes us. Weeks. <laughs> Anna Uzonian? I'm sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. I'm sure I did. Anna. Anna. Thank you. I, enjoy, I actually enjoy cleaning my pens. I clean every time I change colors and when I refill a pen. Thanks for another entertaining and informative episode. See, I, I like to clean my pens. I just don't have the space. Well, see, it's, it's, like, it's like anything else. If you wait a long time to clean it, it's more of a hassle than it is if you do it right away. So you should do it more often. I should do it more often. Okay. But because we're always here and I've got to try new pens all the time. Right. Um, you know, if the latest Drake, you know, I'm going to call it a Draco, uh, Kai, whatever. I, I don't. Okay. Anyway. Uh, the winner is Jeremy. And his comment is, I only clean my fountain pens if necessary. If the pen dries up, I clean it. If I'm lucky and catch the pen before it dries up, I change out the ink color and enjoy the temporary color shift. Uh, my only comment would be be careful because not all inks like each other. Yeah, if you get it, you get it close though. Yeah. You know, it's like I, I always tell people don't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly clean because the more no, but the more you sit there and, and, you know, operate the lever or whatever. Um, but he's saying that he changes the ink, but he doesn't clean it. So just yeah. some oh, some okay, inks okay. don't react yeah. well yeah. together. So you yeah. could have a very interesting little science experiment. Congratulations, Jeremy. Uh, email eric at andersonpens.com. We'll take care of uh, getting that uh, credit onto your Anderson Pens account. Cool. We have a new contest. New contest. It's Inktober. And uh, Marilyn, this is for you. It's time to count. How many bottles of ink do you have? Mine is exactly the same as whatever I said last year. Okay. I'm Any pretty sure of it. Any size bottle with at least a little ink in it counts. Yes. Um, for me, I think I have five. You have more than five. Do I? I am sure you do. <laughs> I am sure you do. I have the bottle of you Urban got... Rouge Granat that I brought to Chicago. Okay. I have a bottle of... Penman, 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 Penman. See, that's... Yes. Yes. Okay. And then Let I have a bottle of Kobe section. that a customer gave me. <laughs> One commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit on his or her Anderson Pens account. We have something coming soon. We do. That we can't talk about. I know. I hate it when we Let do me tell this you, man, to you, it's, but it's cool. It, it's pretty cool. It's really cool. Um, I like it. It's different. Um, it's got a cool finish to it. Yes. Um that's all we can it's, say. Next week. It's got a, next week. Yeah, it's it's got a nib. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it fills with ink. I mean, that's the best part. It fills with ink. Um, it's cool. It is cool. It and is cool. We'll be able to um, tell you about it next it, week. It's kind of a breath of fresh air, I think. Kind in of. In some ways. In some ways. It's it different. Can be. It's creative. Yeah. Yes. Um, is that enough to wet, to wet their whistle? I think so. Either that or torture them. There's actually two. There's two. Yeah. Different. Well, they're the same. Same thing, but different. But different, yeah. And the one is I different. I know. You guys hate us, and All I'm right. sorry, but we're not allowed. But it's cool. So uh, stay go. tuned for hopefully next week. I think we can talk about it next week. Yes. Are we sure? Yes. We don't know. We, have we no checked. Idea. We did. It's the 12th. Uh, it's the 12th. Of course it is. Uh, so anyway, check in next week. Uh, in the meantime, anything else you want to mention? Don't think around, so. Around. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else new and exciting. Um, are we going to talk about the mailer that we're having next week, or we're going to we're having a mailer next week? Having a mailer next week. We, we, we can wait. Okay. All right. Then thanks for joining us. Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and. Pens.
paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Cool.